what we've done here during the live lab is a full uh, sample preparation. We just took some apples and we demonstrated here for the audience uh, a wall uh, method procedure, how we just uh, clean up a sample and what is really the workflow for pesticide analysis. For this, we applied two sample preparation methods. On one hand side, catchers. On the other hand, an accelerated solvent extraction method. Then we had the extracts, we had the samples, and we analyzed it with both GC and LC-based mass spectrometry. So we are doing pesticide analysis, and uh, for that, first of all, we take an apple, the sample, and we chop it, uh, making ready for the homogenization. So the chopped sample will be put into the blender. This is a, like a normal kitchen blender. And like at home, we just put it on. So we have two options. Either we do the sample preparation with the classic catcher's method, but what we demonstrate this time is using the accelerated solvent extractor based method. First of all, we need a given number of sample weight. This is what is ongoing. And for the accelerated solvent extraction, we need this pergant. This has to be added right now in a ratio of more or less four sample unit to one dispergent unit. This is what was done. Uh, this has to be mixed, carefully mixed, that it's more or less homogeneous. And whenever it is, then it is simply put into the cells, the extraction cells. When it's ready, we just cover it with a filter. Just push it on the top. and then close the cell, which is ready for extraction. So the ready cell is placed into the tray of the ACE. Different sizes can be put. Whenever it's ready, then we simply need to program the method and start actually the ready method by clicking on start button. So whenever the extraction finished, you just simply remove the vial with the extract, which is ready to analyze or for further preparation steps. So we have the homogenate. So we take the homogenate for the classical catchers method, very similar way as we did for the ACE extraction. So we weigh 10 gram of sample directly into the extraction tube, which is a pre-prepared tube. It already contains some salts, it can also contain buffers. So whenever the sample is weighed, then extraction solvent will be added to it. To 10 gram of samples, we add 10 milliliter of, sample, uh, of uh, solvent. and the wall tube will be shaken. So normally the samples are centrifuged, or the centrifuge tubes are centrifuged so that the, the solid and the liquid parts can be separated. Whenever it is done, we just take the supernatant from the extraction tube and we transfer everything into the extraction, into the cleanup tube. The cleanup tube, similarly to the extraction tube, is already pre filled with cleanup sorbents. In this case, this is just the basic with PSA and the sodium sulfate. 
the procedure is the same, so it's a vigorously shaking and mixing everything. Normally it is done with a shaker. After shaking time, about one minute, it can be put in the centrifuge. And we centrifuge down, that again the two phases will be separated. So the ready samples will be transferred into the vials and the samples are ready for injection. So we're injecting in both SC and the GC MS systems. First we just put the sample into the GC tray. So the other sample will be put into the HPSC auto sampler. Evaluation of the, of the measured sample is done by the high throughput software trace finder. Uh, here is a typical panel of trace finder where you can see all of the samples, what were measured. You can see all of the compounds which are checked. You see that nearly 300 compounds which are currently analyzed and screened and also you have the flagging system but more interesting is really the pictures showing the quantitative peak, the calibration curve, the ions, the confirmation ions overlaid with the, the main peak and uh, you see also the confirmation ions in a separate window. So based on the evaluation of data we have found out that uh, our apple samples are safe, are clean, they uh, contain no pesticides and are safe for the consumers. So we were just distributing these apples to the audience here and they were happy to consume it. If you need more information on this, please visit our website timeofficial.com or visit the Special Solutions Center website uh, SSC on the Time Official Scientific. You find all of the information to the instrumental as well as to the sample preparation methods. Thank you.